There we go. Recording has started. Excellent. So welcome to our guests and everyone else at AES. The Blue Jay is on his way around. Give him a wave. We just did the Pledge of Allegiance together, so we're going to keep on moving. Today, I had a big surprise, and I had to put it in our show because it just made me tear up with happiness this morning. Um, the school somehow snuck this around me last week and um, made me a really cool sign for uh, National Principals uh, Week. That was a surprise and kind of fun. And everybody's thumbprint is in that heart and individualized. So I'm very, very excited and I will treasure that. Uh, you make a difference in my life more than you will know. So thank you, thank you, thank you. What a fun surprise today. Our last assembly, we had the NED show, or two assemblies ago, we had the NED show, and with the yo-yo tricks were also, was also a lesson. Um, NED stands for never give up, encourage others, do your best. And our Athens Elementary students have been showing that throughout our school and our community, so thank you. The last assembly we did have was uh, late in September, and Mrs. Kruger's class read us a story about sticks. And sticks was about a popsicle that accidentally melted, and he became just a plain old boring stick. So he had some hard times adjusting to his no new normal, and we talked about that, like our new normal. It was a little hard to adjust to, but we are doing fantastic. So everyone at Athens Elementary received a blank popsicle stick. Um, it wasn't sticky, it was a brand new one, and they got to decorate it in any way and personalize it they want, as they wanted to. So Miss, um, let's see, I think right now they are with Mrs. Reek. Um, she is working with our art teacher and they're gonna come up with something cool and they're gonna put our sticks together. So that's pretty exciting. I can't wait to see what our new sticks become. I have some positive points to share. Um, I have definitely noticed we have a lot of responsible kids in our school. They're helpful finding out that there's a problem and how can they help uh, fix that problem. So thank you for helping out in the lunchroom, in the halls. I've seen some older students helping our young ones uh, the last couple of days with their winter clothing. Thank you, thank you. Being flexible. This has been a challenge probably even more for the adults in our building than our kids. Our kids are doing a fantastic job. Um, we, we have a direction we need to go and sometimes uh, we need to change direction very quickly. And our kids have demonstrated that they are extremely flexible and they just go with it, follow directions. We had to switch to remote learning for a while. It is difficult and tricky and there's some problems there, but boy, our kids were flexible and I appreciate that. So that's a great skill to have. A lot in the school, you will see we have posters that demonstrate our expectations on behavior. And we're going to expand that a little bit today we do have these posters around too. We already know that being safe, respectful, and responsible is the Blue Jay way. You'll see in the middle of our screen is a line. That is the line of judgment of what, uh, for our actions. So above the line is where we want to be. We want to be cooperative, trustworthy, honest, polite, prepared, caring, Fair. There's so many more character traits that belong up there, but I didn't have enough room. Below the line is unsafe, disrespectful, irresponsible. And those are some traits that we don't want to see. We don't want to be uncooperative, impolite, unprepared, not trustworthy, uncaring, dishonest, or unfair. Those are called below the line traits. And we don't want to be below the line. The Blue Jay way is above the line. So your teachers will be talking about that um, from now until the end of the school year and beyond. So we like you to be above the line. Um, bottom line behaviors are really poor choices. So those are things that Mrs. Redmond would have to get involved in and help you work through. All right, here's our celebration today. We got 350 Blue Jay Way tickets. So right now, everybody clap your hands because you were part of that. Woohoo! Way to go. Way to go. 
Oh, but look at your teachers are challenging you. They gave you 350 as our first goal, but they're gonna bump up the next goal to 500. So keep working together, get those safe, respectful, responsible Blue Jay Way tickets. Um, and remember to remind your teacher to tell you why you're getting them because sometimes we need to be reminded of what that behavior was so we can do it again. 500, I have no worries, you're gonna do this. So 500 seems like a big number, but I know the way kids were coming in today, you already have a great head start, so good for you. Right now, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen and we're gonna jump into the fifth grade classroom where we have our Blue Jay Buddy highlights. So just give me a second. I will stop sharing my screen and we will see Miss Schelling's class. For comes at AES. Some kids are grabbing pot, the condiments and scraper and using them instead of waiting for the blue jay body to do this for them. Kids are wasting their food. There's a lot in the bucket after scraping the trays off. People are running in the locker room to get to the playground and pushing others to get outside faster. In the bathroom, not all kids are putting the paper towels in the garbage can. Some AES students are not do not have their masks fully on when they are in line to get hot lunch. Many times the mask is below their nose. AES. I'm nicely learning how to move. I in the halls and I saw a map. Which is what is it? Is there a way to get here? I got started. All right, thank you, Blue Jay Buddies. Um, we, I, my connection was a little funny, so I didn't hear all of those, but I did hear you giving compliments to our students of um, wearing their masks. When just a reminder to keep our masks on um, in hallways, in classrooms, when we're with others, they need to work on getting some garbage in the cans, and they're being helpful in the lunchroom. So. I heard some of those, but I know that uh, Ms. Schelling will share those out to all of us again so we can talk about it in our classrooms. Thanks, Blue Jay Buddies. Everybody give them a round of applause. We are so helpful in our building. Sure have appreciated them this year as we have tried not to um, touch multiple things um, as we have in the past. We used to share the scraper at lunchtime this year we have our Blue Jay Buddy does scraping the trays. Our Blue Jay Buddies help with the, the condiments of ketchup and mustard and water. And our Blue Jay Buddies are at the door with hand sanitizer. So um, thanks Blue Jay Buddies. And I know uh, I had two Blue Jay Buddies yesterday come visit me with some more ideas of how they would like to help in our school. So I'm excited to see what they will do next. So going back to screen sharing. Miss Larson is our <laughs> guidance guru. Miss Larson, would would you like us to see you or would you like me to leave the screen orange? Good morning. Um, you could do either. Okay, I, let me, give me a second. I will okay. bounce back. This is good practice for Mrs. Red, so thank you. All right. Good morning, everybody. Um, I just took my mask off because I am in a room all by myself and I think you can um, probably hear me a little bit better that way. So I just want to let you know what we're up to. Our school is 
doing a school-wide focus on kindness right now, and we will also include gratitude in that with Thanksgiving coming up. So these are a couple of traits that we will be focusing on and teaching and reviewing with our uh, Blue Jay friends and families. And when I asked the kids what they think of when we say kindness, they said, uh, you are friendly, you are generous, and you are considerate. Um, when we did some brainstorming, we tried to get it into three different words. One was gentle. Never thought of it that way before. But if you are gentle with your voice and gentle with your actions, I think that you are kind. Um, empathy. I think all the kids, except for maybe the pre-K, are familiar with the term, term empathy, where you feel what somebody else feels. If they're happy, you're happy for them. If they're feeling sad, um, you are doing what you can to help them. And the third one is respect, which is one of our three school rules. So we're looking this month at being treated the way you be treat the way you are treated. Uh, one of the classes has been working a lot on compliments, and that is one of the ways that you can do kindness this month. Uh, another class came up with the idea of not only saying hi or good morning, but using their name it makes it a little bit more special for them. So we have um, some kid president videos we're revisiting. There, He's always a fun guy. Um, he has a little different take on things. Everybody knows the saying, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Well, I like to use kid president's version, and it's, if you can't say any, have anything nice to say, you're not thinking hard enough. You're not thinking hard enough. Everybody has something good about them. It might not be the right time. You might be upset with them about something, but let's turn it around so that we are kind and we're grateful. So um, when we talk about being grateful, it just means giving back kindness. You, you are happy about it. You're showing it in your words and you're showing it in your actions. So I'm going to be looking for an attitude of gratitude and I'm going to challenge all of you this month to think hard enough to be kind. So think of being gentle, having empathy, and showing respect. We have a really great bunch of kids out there right now. Everybody is so happy to be back in school, including the staff. So let's have a good uh, round of Blue Jay tickets, focusing on kindness and gratitude. Thanks, Mrs. Redman. Thank you, Ms. Larson, and I know we have just the kids to do that, so that's exciting. All right, so I'm getting good practice here with this today. All right, we are here to our big presentation. This is exciting. We have not had the opportunity to have a virtual character award presentation ever, um, so it's exciting. Now, although we do have um, some fun things at school, we have the Blue Jay Way tickets, teachers have their own way of sharing with students the good behaviors. Um, the Character Award is not meant to exclude anyone, but is to highlight some of the neat things that other staff are seeing and good behaviors other staff are seeing within the building. So, well, that's why we honor with care towards and we appreciate what all students do and we help guide you along the way. So right now I'm going to start with Mrs. Kruger's class and we'll focus on Mrs. Kruger. Hopefully she'll jump up on the screen here and she will honor her students. And I brought my handy dandy red carpets. So oh, she's got the red carpet out. Yes, I do. So um, I would like, I know this is the first time the kindergartners have ever been to a character award ceremony. So this is all new to them. So they may not know that they usually walk the whole red carpet. So today, boys and girls, if I call your name, you just come and stand on the red carpet. Uh, the first student that I chose for, especially for responsibility. This person 
um, is responsible in the classroom. He always brings his work when he's supposed to. If he needs to give me a message or tell me something, he's always very dependable and I can always count on him. Uh, at home, I know it's the same. I know that he helps in the garden. I know he helps with the ponies. Um, whenever he gathered up pumpkins, he um, invited me every day to come and get purchase a pumpkin from their pumpkin patch. And so I did. I know that this boy is responsible and will do very well in life. I would like to leave a hire to come and stand on our red carpet. Face the camera and he gets his first certificate. Okay. Thank you very much. Can I take your hand? There you go. Okay. This is yours. Okay. Thank you. We just had one. Uh, thanks, Mrs. Kruger. It, it's not quite the same, but it's still very exciting. I like your red carpet. And uh, I'm we we're cheering for you. All right, we're going to go to Mrs. Nowak's classroom. Mrs. Nowak. I'm very happy to have you meet two kindergartners from our class. All of the kindergartners are very kind and responsible, but I would like you to meet two kindergartners in particular. Our first student shows kindness to others in many ways. He is one of the first to help a friend who may have spilled crayons or may just need a little help. She's quick to give a smile or an encouraging word. He is not only kind, she is responsible too. <laughs> Care of her things and messes and I can count on her to do what is best. I'd like you to meet Cassidy Baby. So Cassidy, come right here. Oh, well, what are they seeing me? They can not. Mm -hmm. Yes, they can. Do you see that beautiful woman over there? I have one more student that I'd like you to meet. She is also very kind and responsible and generous and loves to share with everyone. She often shares treats with her whole class. And when someone is sad, she tries to make them feel better by sharing a kind word or a pat on the shoulder. She is always looking for ways to spread kindness. This girl is very responsible for her things and her actions too. I can depend on her to make responsible choices. I'd like you to meet Zoe Zawacki. Thank you, Mrs. Noah. Um, would you send Zoe up to the office really quick? Um, I have a special uh, and message for her. So thanks for doing that. All right, we are going to go to Mrs. Luther. Now, unfortunately, Mrs. Luther is not with us live um, in the classroom, but she's with us live in cyberspace. I did see her earlier, so hopefully she's still there. If you are not Mrs. Luther, if you could just hit your microphone mute, that would be great. A little feedback, not too bad. But if you have a, a mute, make sure you have your mute on. Thank you. Um, I'm not Mrs. Luther, but... Um, I'm here for her, and today we have many kind we have many kind and responsible students in our first grade classroom all the time. Um, today we are going to honor Savannah Westfall and Logan Whalen. He's, Logan is not with us today, but we still are honoring him. Both students have been very kind to their classmates when they did not know what to do. They have helped them with classwork, Chromebooks and directions when the teacher was busy. Logan and Savannah have also shown being responsible with completing their work in a timely fashion. 
Savannah and Logan are great examples of showing the Blue Jay way of kindness and responsibility. Congratulations. Savannah, why don't you come on up? And here is Savannah. Good work. And Logan will get his award when he comes to school next. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Weidman, and thank you for being here this week and next week. There's Mrs. Luther. She's waving at her kiddos. Good job. Good job. Exciting. All right. We're going to go over across the hallway to Mrs. Bird's room. Mrs. Bird. Okay. Responsibility is doing what you need to do when you need to do it. This student in our class always does what he needs to do, sometimes even before I get a chance to make sure others have understood the directions. He keeps his desk clean and tidy, makes sure his assignments are written neatly, and finishes his classwork on time. He has started to ask questions when he is not sure what to do, and sets a good example to others of being responsible. For the character trait of responsibility this month, I would like to recognize Egan Bingham. And we had one, so I think we're moving to second grade. All right, we're going to really move down the hall to Mrs. Hendricks. Mrs. Three Hendricks, words. I can see you, but I can't hear you quite yet. Oh. You might need to start over. Thanks. But we can see you. you can your, your video is a little fuzzy-ish. Might have frozen. We're going to jump over to Mr. Keith's room, and we'll come back to Mrs. Hendricks' room. So. Mr. Keith, uh, we're jumping over to you, and we'll go back to Ms. Henricks. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, thank you. The student I'm recognizing is known for being responsible and kind. He comes to school prepared and eager to learn. He is always willing to help others, and I can count on him to get the job done. He never backs down from a challenge. He is such a positive influence in the classroom. Also, he wants to be a teacher when he grows up. And he tells me that he can't wait till I'm his coworker. He oh makes God, me enjoy being a teacher, and I can't wait till he is my coworker someday. It is for these reasons I nominate Isaac Allen Becker for this award. Congratulations. Yeah, buddy. Walk the red carpet. Walk the red part of the carpet. Walk the red part of the carpet. Can you guys hear me okay? Yeah! 
Yes, we hear you. All right, here we go. Okay, the first student I'd like to recognize is being awarded for being responsible. She follows directions right away. She tries her best, even when it may be difficult for her. When uncertain of what to do on an assignment, she seeks help from either myself or a classmate. The thing that stood out the most, however, was when she had a little notebook at her table and wrote down examples of what we were working on in class. I thought that was especially responsible and showed she really cared about what she was learning. It's for these reasons I asked that Kinley Tiffany come next door to receive her reward. for being kind. She is very willing to help her fellow table mate when, she, when he has a question or is uncertain of what to do. When stuck on an assignment, she does a great job of helping him without giving him the answers. I don't even have to ask her. When working with him, she is always kind, patient, and encouraging. In addition, she is generally very bubbly and fun to be around. She enjoys having a good time and plays with everyone. It's for these reasons I ask that Madison Riesler come over and receive her certificate. Clap up. Hey, thank you. All right, thank you, second graders. Before we leave the second grade classroom, though, um, I would like Mr. Keith to come back to the video and show us his pajamas. Mr. Keith, we want to see those pajamas. Do you notice something about those pajamas? Yeah. Papa um, Bear, congratulations, Mr. Keith. Uh, there will be a new Keith next spring. So. Thanks, Mr. Keith. Um, for some of you, if you are joining, um, uh, there are three little boxes on the bottom, uh, people view, speaker view, and gallery view. I am now going to switch over to a speaker view. So I apologize that it took me this long on our video, but I'm going to click into speaker view and uh, we're going to go on to third grade. So Miss Borkhart, everybody Hi. else is on mute and Miss Borkhart's class is going to come on. Okay. So for the October student of the month, I want to highlight two third grade students who have displayed the character traits of being responsible and kind. My first student I've selected is an excellent role model in our classroom when it comes to demonstrating these traits. The student has shown responsibility by being prepared to learn, always putting their best effort forward, completing their assignments on time, and they are always following our classroom directions and expectations. In addition to this, this student always has a smile on their face, a positive attitude, and is continually finding ways to spread kindness. They are willing to share a positive compliment and will leave kind notes for others, including our janitor staff at night, to thank them for all they do. For these reasons and more, I have picked Armani Aguilar Hernandez to receive the Blue Jay Way, Way Award for October. So Armani, will you come up front? <laughs> has been a leader in our class these traits of being responsible and kind day in and day out. This student has shown responsibility by keeping their materials and learning space organized. They are engaged in a ton of during our lessons and are driven to always do their best. Furthermore, this student demonstrated kindness by being a caring and thoughtful friend to all. 
During, or during recess, I have witnessed a student welcome and invite others to play and are always building others up. They have a big heart, a positive attitude, and always raise their hand during our Blue Jay of the Day activity to share a compliment about someone else. For these reasons and more, I have also picked Isaac Bingham to receive the Blue Jay Day Award for October. Here you go, Isaac. Congratulations. Woo, Thanks, Ms. Borkhart. We're moving right down the hall next door to Mrs. Haynes' room. Okay, I don't know. Okay. 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 So, for the month of October, I selected two third grade students. Both students show character traits of being responsible and kind. And considering the traits of being responsible, I thought about it both in person and virtually. In school, being responsible would be bringing all of your materials every day, putting your things away, completing your assignments on time, filling in assignment books and having it signed, and many more tasks. Both students have also displayed being responsible and kind while online participating by having materials ready, listening attentively, and completing their work. And trait was kind. The first student I selected is kind to everyone, including the staff. He almost always has a smile on his face and will greet you. He enjoys being in our classroom and is kind to all others by helping them out when they need help. He will help them before getting his own things ready. For these reasons and more, I picked Caleb Steinke to receive the Blue Jay Way Award. My second third grader I picked for October has also shown her kindness to others. She will greet you, be helpful to her classmates and her teacher. She's also nice to her siblings in the building by smiling. When this girl was out of school for a while, she joined live, remembered to complete her work, and brought it all back. She made sure to ask that everything was turned in and she did everything she was supposed to. I hope that other third graders will see these two students that I've selected and continue to be responsible and kind. Addie Heyer, please come up and receive her award. Thank you. Fantastic, and I love how you're waving at those videos because moms and dads are seeing you, so well done. We're going to go down the hall just a little bit more and into our fourth grade with Mrs. Dietrich. Okay, hopefully you can hear me okay. Give me a cue if you guys can hear me. You guys can. <laughs> okay. All right. I, I could have chosen pretty much any one of our 12 students for one or the other of these character traits of kindness and responsibility. We, we really have a great class, but I did narrow it down to two. So I have witnessed the following students demonstrate the Blue Jay Way consistently so far throughout the school year, both here at school and virtually. So this student ha has shown the character trait of being responsible in many different ways. This person has shown responsibility in all of her work, whether we are in person or remote learning. She always has her homework completed on time and it's always done with excellent quality. Even when she was sick and absent from school, she came to school the very next day with all of her homework completed. I sent it home with her brother. She got it all done. If she does, which rarely happens, but if she does happen to forget something at home, which we all make mistakes, right? It happens. If she does happen to forget something, she takes responsibility right away, comes and tells me about it right away. She's also helping out as a Blue Jay buddy this year in the lunchroom, and she has shown great responsibility through that job as well. Even though this job does take away from some of her classroom work time, she still manages to always get her work done on time. So the student that has consistently shown responsibility this year is Brinley Cornack. We don't have a red carpet, but we have a gray carpet, Brinley. So go ahead and walk the gray yeah. carpet. Come on down. Congratulations. Show the camera. Okay. And we 
do have one more award. Um, this student has shown kindness many different ways. So kindness is defined as the quality of being friendly, generous, and considerate. The student has shown all of these qualities all day, every day this year. No matter what, this person is always kind to others, both with her words and her actions. Even when she's not having the best day, she still is sure to show kindness to anyone that she interacts with. I've seen it in the classroom, I've seen it in the lunchroom, I've seen it at recess. So the student that has consist consistently shown kindness this year is not with us today. However, she has joined us virtually, Amethyst Smith. Congratulations. Was joining us before, I know. She will get her award when she returns with us. Thank you, Mrs. Dietrich. That's pretty exciting. We're going to bounce over to Miss Callip's fourth grade. Okay, if everybody can hear me okay, just give me a thumbs up or a wave. Perfect. So again, as Mrs. Dietrich said, um, it was very hard to choose only two of my 13 students, uh, but I narrowed it down. And in our classroom, instead of the red carpet, we have a rainbow carpet they're going to walk down. So the first student, the student has been responsible and kind in many ways so far this school year. They're very responsible by, by making sure all of their work is done on time, is trusted to be a Blue Jay helper at lunch, and has done a great job doing so. This student is also responsible for doing many things without having to be told or asked. This student is also a very kind person. They are kind to all of their classmates by helping them and being able to put a smile on their faces. Keep up the great work, Brooklyn Westfall. <laughs> And show the camera. Good job. And then the second student. This student has been responsible and kind in a variety of ways so far this school year. They have been very responsible by helping out their sibling or siblings, either at school or virtually, and are responsible by communicating with me about a variety of things. Also, this student gets to school on time and gets to work right away. They are also a kind person to everyone around by being polite and helping others without being asked. Keep up the amazing work, Austin Natsky. Good job. LJ. Good job. And show the camera. Well done, for Bears. We're going to zoom in to our fifth grade, Miss Schelling. Okay. Both of these students have shown kindness and responsibility this school year. They complete their schoolwork and participate in class. They help in class without being asked. They are kind to their classmates and me through their words and actions. They eagerly volunteer to help as a Blue Jay buddy. They get ready for the next subjects quickly as well. They treat their partners in activities nicely and work well with them to complete the activity. They also follow the COVID rules and say please and thank you. They hold up their arm for a zero voice level. They're coming into the building from recess. And I've seen them pick up trash in the hallway. Two fifth graders I am recognizing for showing kindness and responsibility and following the Blue Jay way are Ed Schultz Becker. Hayden Weideman. Fantastic, everybody. That was fun. Um, I know it's a little different than us being in the gym, but we all did well. Little glitches that we'll keep working on. I'm going to 
stop recording because our character award is over, but I am going to continue and wrap us up. So I'm just going to hit stop. So thank all of you for joining. You may stay on. Um, you're welcome to stay on. I'm just going to stop the recording at this time.